Hello, V team. It's me, Femon, and welcome to Digigamings. And I'll be continuing Horizon Zero Dawn. Quick warning: this game is rated T, contains blood, drug reference, language, mild sexual themes, and violence. If you don't want to see any of that, I suggest you click off of this video, watch our other gameplay series, which is a little more rated E. Pretty sure he already ran away. Oh no. That stuff is toxic. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look too big. Big enough to kill us. Alright. I'll shut up. It's a bomb, alright. Well crafted. So is there like a tripwire or something? I thought it was, I for a sec I thought it was like toxic. Like if you breathe it in you die or something. But no, it's a bomb. Uh please don't let it be a tripwire. It's probably Please. It must be leaking from something upstairs. If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. And there's some more bombs. Great. That's a lot of blaze. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Derval promised. Smoke will darken the sun. As the city goes up in flames, there's there's got to be a way to stop it. If that bomb goes off, the blaze will ignite in a firestorm. Maybe there's some way I can open this window to get rid of the fuel for the bomb. It looks like a wooden bracket. Not very strong. So now, what, what do you want me to do with it? Push the blaze out of the- What? Are you sure it's safe? Because what if an unexpected person just walks about and see- <laughs> Hears a loud sound or like, see a weird shadow on the ground and when they look up, they get squashed. But I'm guessing there's no other option. Help me push this out. Okay. Brute force. I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably, Probably not. not. Now push. Yeah. <sighs> when it just explode on it in. We did it! Durval's best shot, and Meridian's still standing. This is over. Durval said he'd make a Vod watch. No way. 
To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. And that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Durval's men left something behind when they put it back on. I got it. Don't worry. He tries for the palace. He's finished. I don't think this. I don't think this area has a fire department. Boot tracks with just a bit of blaze in them. Everyone needs a splash of color in their lives. Come. There's smoke rising from the edge of the mesa. Are you under attack? No, a bomb went off. The tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts. This must be where Durval assembled the detonator. He tunneled through the wall. Durval did find a way into the palace. Sorry about that. There he is. And he might have already spotted me. Wish I could. Let's do this. I didn't get the chance to hear the dialogue, but... Oh well. The wriggling runt of a maniac king. You robbed me of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. 
I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian Avad. Breathe in the stench and choke on the ashes. Something's wrong. Was the bomb supposed to be like a chain reaction or something? I, like, I he only planted anything. like two bombs. There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No! It should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner! <sighs> Gotta turn off the machine. You guys okay? What's this? Oh. You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. Oh, what is that? Contact. Oh! Ugh. Why does a VOD always have his ladies do the fighting? Can we finish this? I've got a sunga. I was just wondering. <laughs> I felt like this battle was gonna be too easy. Ah! Because he keeps using that. Oh. Yeah, I miss. I've led an army, killed kestrels and ravagers, a savage. Ugh. This isn't over yet, wench. Can we finish this? I've got a sun god to kill. Why does a VOD always have his ladies do the fighting? Oh, come on, that is so clearly a headshot. It's not over yet, Nora. Any good Osaram Tinker will tell you. Always have a third plan. Oh, no. It's calling in machines! And it had to be the stupid birds! Goodbye, quiet approach. I'll deal with you later, unless you're already dead. I hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the way! Ugh! Right, 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 right. I forgot. Boom. Okay, I really need to switch outfits. Run. Well, at least they're on standby and waiting for turns, at least. Uh. Yeah. 
Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you. In case you have forgotten, I fought machines before. Ah, those majestic, murderous flint hawks. Ah, those majestic, murderous flint hawks. I hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the way. Ugh. Your ice abilities aren't as effective compared to before. You are saying as much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you. I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Aaron, you'll screw it up. Don't. you are afraid of going back to mainspring in chains every clan in the claim wants you dead and they know how to make it hurt they'll even bid for the privilege it's just like you to get someone else to do your killing shut up you're at the sun king's mercy now I really hope you didn't accidentally kill them already. Aloy, to say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth, without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. What exactly will happen to Durval? For now, he'll languish in one of the old cells under the Sunring here in Meridian. As for what happens after we negotiate his extradition to Mainspring, 
I don't want to think about it. My father was very creative when it came to inflicting suffering. But some Asuran devices surpass even his imaginings. What a waste. Derval is a brilliant man. I wonder what he would have accomplished if it weren't for my father's cruelty. Why do you want me to stay in Meridian? Well, I would think that would be obvious. Not to me. Huh. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You were strong, shrewd, and, and capable. I, I could use someone like you at my side. It's like your weird... Is this like a some way of being flirtatious... It might be worth taking a moment to examine what you just said. You just lost Ursa, a woman who stood at your side and could easily be described as strong, shrewd, and capable. It's pretty clear how you felt about her. And now you're asking me to take her place. Is this a job offer or a proposition? By the sun, you do indeed share much with Ursa. Including a withering eye for foolishness. Ah. Please. Accept my apologies. Seems I'm getting ahead of myself. I need some time. To resolve my feelings. I will be forever grateful to you, Aloy. And in time... I'd like to get to know you better. Shall we leave it at that, then? Yeah. Were you and Ursa, you know? I suppose it's obvious how I feel, how I felt about her. She didn't just give me advice. She gave me strength. But we couldn't be together. Relations between the Karja and Osaram and Meridian were unsteady as it was. The union of the Sun King and an Osiram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city. And probably war with the clans. Did anyone know? Only one. Derval. He wanted Ursa, but she rejected him. And so jealousy became yet another of his hateful motivations. I feel like if you and Ursa were to be together, well, besides Deval's also, also jealousy in, into it. I felt, wouldn't that be a type of thing that brings peace between two different clans? I may be wrong, but isn't there like a thing in ancient history where like two different communities, especially the hierarchies are one of the important, you're the emperor, right? I think. I mean, you are his son, so therefore you're the king or emperor or whatever high title you have in this place. So surely enough, if the king were to marry or, you know, form a relationship with a person that's from a different clan or a different uh, group, wouldn't that inspire acceptance of different communities or something? I feel like that should be a thing. I feel like that's been a thing where like how they resolve or how they became peace with one another. It may took some time, but at least it shows their leader are not against other groups and wants to end the fighting through love, I guess? I don't know. I feel like that's that's a thing. Like, it wouldn't cause revolt. Well, at least not all of them. Some would be still supportive for the relationship. And will keep will now grow an open mind to other individuals from different groups and clans. And stuff like that. Like I said, at least that's what I think that's how it works. 
It's time for me to go. Of course. I hope you find what you're after, Aloy. And if need be, I will come to your aid. As sure as the sun's rising. And also, you know, I can't stay here because I need to resolve what's going on. Because if I don't deal with it sooner or later... It will not stop this issue we're dealing with, especially the machines. And plus, there could be other people out there that needs my help. A moment of your time, Outlander? Meridian is the greatest of all cities, and within the great. Well, where the heck is the ball? Duvall, where are you? Confused by anything more than two sticks and a string. Don't you have something better to do? Like choke on a lance horn. You think that spear of yours is so fancy, but I could craft it blindfolded during a quick nap. Riding machines? Am I supposed to be impressed? Get one to serve me lunch, then I'll take notice. You're like a burr in a booth, you know that? Just so irritating. Hammer to steel! I hate you! Someday, I'm gonna build a machine for the specific purpose of pulling your braids out. By the great flaming forge, just leave me alone, Red. Well, I finally annoyed him. And now I can go back and talk to him. I was wondering when he's gonna break. Let's have a chat. No, a colorful discussion. There are no shadows over the moon. Aloy, I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. 
You gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do, right? <laughs> you're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. <sighs> yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Draval. Now, don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. So, after all this, what's next for Erend Vanguardsman? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean less chit chat, more drinking. What do you think the Osirim will do to Durval? First off, they'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. I can live with that. In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. Well... I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master. All before breakfast. You know it. When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. Now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Two? Huh. Well, she likes me. Save Meredith from its foes. That was the achievement I got. And I leveled up. Gotta continue forward. Fork. This must be where Nassan was supposed to check in. Okay, that makes sense. You can't override that one.
else is useful. Maker's End. Not much farther now. All that said, he found an image of a woman I resemble on an ancient device. If she's my mother, why would there be traces of her all the way out here? So far from the world, and... I don't get it. Who is she? Her name huh? is Elizabeth Sobek. You! Spying through my focus again? Well, go on. What do you know about her? Stay on your present course, and before long, you'll know her as well as I do. Maybe better. But be wary. Maker's End is crawling with Eclipse troops. To help you deal with them, I've left some useful equipment just outside the ruins. Your focus will show the location. Who is he, and how does he know these things? He said Elizabeth Sobek. What kind of name is that? I saw some of the places you'd been. The new settlers had no appreciation of craft. They'd already piled your work in a ditch. But I knew the signs to look for. The scrabble in the dirt. Those surprised splashes. And I did tell you we'd meet again. No. Still hunting bandits? Oh, yes. I've been sharpening my blade, anticipating the scent of the fight. Don't get me wrong. These scum are odorous. A little panic and desperation really sets it off, though. Like an incense. So, what's your knife called? Why would someone name a knife? So much for small talk. Are you ready? Just don't think this means I enjoy it. Don't worry. We'll take your secret to their graves. It's not... Ugh, forget it. I am just now realizing I am really low on shards.
I need this. Got too much already. More cactives. They must be the bandits prisoners. We grabbed him in the night. That signal will bring in reinforcements if they set it off. Oh, okay, I think I understand how this weapon works. It sticks on to the enemies and it will explode. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, 
Over here, return! Welp. Claim back a piece of land. I bet those traitorous Oseron will just conveniently lose Derval and transport to Mainspring. Okay, yep, I still don't fall damage. The Osram has gone too far this time. Durval should die for his crimes. I should probably sell the stuff I have currently.
Oh, I need to talk to him first. Remember how the blood pounded in your ears? They'll ring later, in the calm. It's a call to arms, from your inner desires. Or a cry for help. I wouldn't fight it. I can tell. So you used to be a soldier. You fought for the Karja? Oh, for them, against them. An empire always finds its wars. You can't be picky. The new king of Vod saw things differently. Called an investigation into war crimes. Aren't all wars a crime to someone? Still, I raised my hand and volunteered. You volunteered to investigate? No, I volunteered my confession. No sense wasting time with an investigation. I was sent to Sunstone Rock for two years. The trade was fair. What were these things you did, Nil? Acceptable things. Under the circumstances? Acceptable to who? I don't make decisions. Let's just say the rules of engagement suited me. But rules are important. A structure. Cage. Otherwise, you know of those places, lonely places where people once were? Now just a hole cut in the world. Chances are, I was there before. They sent you to a rock for two years? Is this some kind of Karja ritual? No, no. Sunstone Rock is a prison, south of Meridian, south of the Rain Gathers. Our new Sun King is a believer in rehabilitation, as am I. In the heat of a stone cell, in the dark, I learned to focus on what was truly important to me. Have you found a new partner yet? I thought we were partners. I have my own roads to follow now. And they seem to lead back to bandits. That works for me. I'm not suggesting a Karja wedding. I'm never lonely where there's killing to be done. Time to move on. A brief encounter for us, but the end for them. They were squalid lives anyway. You are one weird individual, man. Alright, I'm going to have to end the video here. If you like what you see, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, visit our TikTok or Instagram, even though we don't upload there that much, and share your friends you like. See you in the next video!